Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Karobi and welcome to my channel. So we're gonna jump right into it. Today we're gonna be doing a, a Kylie skin review and I have all of the items right here. So I actually wasn't able to get the pack, the the whole package or whatever. Like I think you saved yourself like twenty dollars if you bought everything. When I went, it was already sold out, so I had to buy each item individually. But I was super excited to um, finally. I was super excited to try this because I've been a fan of Kylie Cosmetics since she first launched her first lipstick. As Kylie stuff came out, I was like super stoked because I love trying skincare stuff and I'm really weird about them. And I know that a lot of people are like over her cosmetics. Like I said, I still love them, but I can't afford every single launch that she does. So I kind of like pick selectively which ones I really want to spend my money on. But, again, when Kylie Skin came out, I was like, okay, like, I know everyone's already going to be like, really Kylie, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, give her a chance. Like, we don't know, like, what she can do, you know what I mean? Like, this girl has, yeah, she's a freaking billionaire. So, to me, that says, okay, one, I feel like she can definitely afford to have, like, really good chemists and make sure her products are the best that they can be. This isn't going to be some cheap stuff, you know what I mean? So, Honestly, I thought that when she launched her stuff, I honestly thought that <laughs> everything was going to be like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like hit your soul. Like I, was, I thought I was about to spend like $400, $300 and I don't know if I was going to buy everything if it was around that price, but thankfully it wasn't. And when I first bought this, and I'll have the receipt right here of when I bought it, I've been trying it for about a month now, and I just wanted to, at first I was like, okay, let me make a video, and I was like, wait, okay, I haven't even tried this, so let me make a video after I try it, and I've been using it every single night to make sure that it's something that I really like, and like, again, I wanted to make a review on it, so even though I'm trying this all now in front of you, I've been trying this for a whole month, and I'm just going to give you my feedback from everything as I'm doing it here, here. So, let's first start with the wipe. When I first tried these wipes, I was expecting something like Neutrogena. I was expecting kind of like oily, and I have I have a really hard time finding wipes that I like because of the fact that they don't feel like the Neutrogena one where it feels like everything came out. But I do want to say that when I am using the Neutrogena wipes, I never, ever, ever use them on my eye. I literally use it everything, everywhere else except my eyes. I didn't know what to expect, right? I was expecting it to be like kind of like any other wipe and I was like, okay, whatever. But it's actually a pretty good wipe and I'm obviously gonna show you guys. But the cool thing about it is I could use it on my eye because it's not like the Neutrogena one where it's like super oily and I feel like my eyes are gonna burn out as soon as I'm done using it. It's actually really sensitive on the skin, but it gets, it, it gets the job done. So I cleaned off half of my face. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. Like I said, I was so impressed because I cannot put, I cannot stress enough that I cannot use other wipes in my eyes. And since she didn't come out with like a little, like a special eye product eyes, I assumed that this was, I was like hoping that this was going to work for my eyes because if not, like what am I going to use to take out my eyeshadow? But as you can see, I use an entire wipe on half of my face. So obviously this is just depending on how much makeup you have on. I have... Uh, you know, foundation, concealer, contour, eyeshadow. So one is definitely not going to be enough with whatever wipe you use. But I just wanted to show you guys like what half of my face looks like. And I believe I got everything out. Like I think one wipe was really good. You know, on a night out or like you're a little bit drunk. And you're like trying to use the wipe, you know, trying to get everything out. And then I'm like, oh, as soon as I start touching my eye, it gets all red. And I'm like, no. So... That's what I love about this wipe. It's actually a really good wipe. What we're going to talk about is the face wash. So I actually took this to New York with me when I was at the Benefit Brow Search. Hey, top four over here. What's up? So I actually had forgot my wipes when I went to um, when I went to New York. And I was like, holy shit, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, I don't have wipes. And then I was like, oh shit, I brought my Kylie Foamy wash. And I was like skeptical because I always use a wipe first and then I go in with like a cleanser or a face wash. 
So I used it the entire trip, which was like four days. Um, no, it was five days, four nights. I used it the entire trip of wipes and it was really, really good. I honestly feel like it did a really good job. It was like my holy grail <laughs> during those five days. Um, but now that I'm back home, again, I will be using wipes and then using the face wash on my hand here. This is really how much I've been using for real. <laughs> So I use Soap and Glory face wash um, when I'm in the shower, but I actually just ran out, so that's when I bought this one. And it kind of feels the same. I didn't feel like anything drastically different. Um, I think the prices are like about the same. I do want to say that there was a big price difference between the Soap and Glory and the Kylie Skin. Soap and Glory was $10 and Kylie Skin is $24. So I would say that that is a big gap and they did feel pretty similar i'm not exactly sure if i would spend the extra 14 dollars for the kylie skin but of course that's entirely up to you so the next product we're going to talk about is the walnut scrub i was so so skeptical to try this because obviously the internet is so mean but i'm gonna tell you a little story i was literally breaking out so freaking bad and I was like, I don't know what to do. So I was like, let me try this walnut scrub because I feel like, you know, it's going to exfoliate my face. It's going to make me feel better. So usually when I exfoliate, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, you know, you feel like you're going to have the gunk out. Listen, I don't know what magical powers this freaking thing has. But as soon as I use this exfoliator, my face cleared up like immediately. Like the next day, I was like glowing. I was like, what? What is this? And then I was like, okay, you know, that's... Maybe it was just a coincidence, like maybe my face was going to clear up anyway, right? So then, a week later, I was like feeling the same. I was like, ew, why am I feeling like this? I used it again. And then right before New York when I was breaking out, same feeling, I used it again. And every single time I use it, my face clears up. Like, I don't know what it has. I don't know what type of Kardashian, Jenner, Voodoo, this... <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I don't know what what it is, but this has really cleared my face a lot. And when I came back from New York, I was breaking out really, really bad. And um, I started using it, and I was like, okay, I know it's not going to make like the scars go away, but I know it's going to help me at least get some of this gunk out. And it did. So ever since I used it, I f a few days ago, I used it, and um, my face started clearing up a little bit, and I was like, okay, cool. So now it's been a few days, so I can use it for this video, obviously. So... I just wanted to tell y'all that out of all the products that I'm showing you today, this is my favorite one and I know the freaking internet freaking hates it, but I don't care. It was so good. It was so, 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 so freaking good. And I'm not going to sit here and say that this feels like different than any other walnut scrub. It still feels like you feel the little, the little ball thingies, but I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what it is, but every single time I use it, I'm literally, my face is like brand new almost instantly after i use it i already feel like my face is like so smooth like it feels really weird like i said i don't know if it's like kardashian jenner potion they got in here but girl it's working because again my face feels really really smooth and it's not like your regular your regular exfoliator i don't know what it has but i honestly feel like i'm gonna keep raving about it because i honestly feel like it did a really good job and I was scared. I was like ready to be like, y'all, this is some regular shmegular between this one and the exfoliator. The like Glory One or whatever it's called. But this scrub, girl, just know I'm gonna keep purchasing this because it's worth it, okay? So the next product we're gonna talk about is the Vanilla Milk Toner. So with this one, personally me, I've never seen like a creamy toner before. I've used like different types of toners and they're all usually like the same kind of smell like alcoholy like most toners are like that type of color or like smell like a certain way so with this one i again i don't know if there's some out there but i never seen a milk toner before so i was like oh that's pretty cool or one that looks like milk like i was not expecting it to be like this so so i'm gonna be honest with you guys of course when i use the toner every single time i've used it i've used it after wipe, I've used it after the face wash, and I've used it after the walnut scrub. Every single time, I do get a tingly sensation in my skin. The first day that I felt something, I was like, oh shit, it's about to go down. Like, everybody was right, right? So then, as I kept using it, I noticed that 
no, like nothing was happening. And I do get a tingling sensation with my other toners as well, but this one was a little bit stronger. Um, so I do want to, uh, I do want to warn you guys about that. I did feel like a weird tingling sensation, and I'm pretty sure it's the toner because. I, every single time I use a toner, I then use a moisturizer, and every single time my face starts tingling. So I don't know if it's really the toner, like after I use everything, or it's the moisturizer with the toner. I'm not 100% sure, but I just know that every time I use the moisturizer, and I'm not using any of the other products, like when I'm about to put my makeup on and I use a moisturizer, it doesn't burn. So I feel like it has a lot to do with the toner, and like again, it not really burn it's like a like a tingly sensation and i'm okay with that like so many products give you like a weird tingling sensation like it's not a big deal every time i use the glam glow mask like i feel like a tingly sensation so i'm used to it but i just want to give you guys a heads up in case you're not used to it and you go by and you're like oh, what okay so our next product is gonna be the face moisturizer so with this again you know y'all know i'm gonna tell you the truth this freaking pump is so freaking annoying. It is so hard to get the fucking moisturizer out. Like, I almost wish it was just, like, the ones you dip your finger in there. Because this takes for freaking ever. So, I'm gonna try to see if it, like, shows this time. Okay, see how it, like... Let me make sure this is focused, but... You see how I'm, like, pressing, 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 and, like... Uh, Oh my goodness, it is not coming out. Look, and even, I'm like, oh, maybe we use some gravity. And there's, there's definitely some freaking moisturizer in there. I, this pump is, has to be one of the most, okay, there we go. Annoying things freaking ever. But now that we got it out, I'm gonna apply some on my face. I have really really dry skin so moisturizer for for me are everything um because before I realized that I had such such dry skin I just didn't understand why my makeup sometimes didn't apply correctly or why my face felt a certain way like before I got really into makeup and skincare so moisturizers, moisturizers are everything to me because since I don't have an oily face I can't just apply makeup honestly I have to always have a moisturizer, always have a primer. So I always use moisturizer before primer. And this is what I was using before putting my makeup on all in New York. Because it's really, really compact and easy to just like add to your purse. And it's not like a big bulky moisturizer. Next we're going to go with the final product that I'm going to use today. And it's the eye cream. And... I like this thing. I know it's supposed to be like perfectly to fit for your, right under your eye, but you still have to go in there and like mix it up. Like you can't mix it with this. I've tried. Like you can't you can't blend it in with this. So it's kind of so it's like one of those things that's kind of pointless. Like yeah, it helps apply hair, but I still have to put my finger and like mix it up. So that's just me. I honestly I I've been using this almost every single day ever since I got it and I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen much of a difference um with my under eyes. I know it helps moisturize my under eyes and let's see what else it does. It's supposed to extract and helps brighten, hydrates and reduce puffiness and appearance on fine lines and wrinkles. So I do um when I apply it, I do feel like it brightens it up a tiny bit. Definitely not help has helped me with like a few wrinkles that I have like close to my eye But I do feel like it does brighten it a little bit. Um, especially in the mornings. I feel like it's a little bit better Um, and I do have to keep using it like I feel like I stopped using it for a few days and I felt a little bit different, but It hasn't been like a drastic change like something that I was like, whoa Like the walnut scrub, <laughs> you know, that's my BFF now. It wasn't like the walnut scrub. It was definitely less than that so um yeah it was like I feel like it's been helping and I'm sure it's hydrating my eyes but seeing a visual difference no do my does my face feel a little bit hydrated yes and that also has to do with my moisturizer so I don't really know if I'll be buying this again because again not seeing like a drastic change and I feel like I'm a visual person like I have to see it or feel it and I just, I don't know. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. If you like this review, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. 
Also, I will link down below a link for my Instagram. Make sure to follow me and to interact with me. I will also be doing IGTV videos on there, so make sure you stay tuned with those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked today's review. I feel like I honestly love doing reviews. I feel like if I'm going to upload anything on YouTube, it's going to be a review because what else am I going to talk about Like, unless it's something new? So let me know if you really like how I do reviews and any questions, concerns, or if you guys have tried this stuff, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if it was just me, if you used this moisturizer and this freaking pump was freaking annoying you. Let me know about the tingling, if anyone else felt like that. Um, and yeah, I am starting to upload in Spanish. So any of my Espanol mommies, get ready for some videos in Spanish. Um, I will have those up very soon, whether it's here on YouTube or on Instagram. So stay tuned for those as well. And that's it. I'm done rambling. So I see you, I will see you guys in my next video.